Hey, my name is Key Kills Reality. Ever since I started streaming and making videos in VR chat, two of the most asked questions is, how do I live stream in VR? And where did you get the Obama avatar? I just realized how uh, bad of a spot it is to record here. <laughs> that second question will be answered in its own video. Today, I'm going to show you all the basics and all you need to know in how to stream in VR chat and really in any VR game that you really want to stream in. But of course, since I'm mainly a VR chat content creator, I'll first show you how to stream in VR chat and the best ways to do so. If you're new here, subscribe. I'll be posting these shorter videos every couple days and then larger, longer form videos every Monday. Let's hop into it. <laughs> All right, let's go over what you need. First of all, you need a VR-capable computer. You cannot stream uh, when you're on a standalone Oculus device, although there may be a way around that through casting it to, like, a phone, because uh, Twitch just came out with this recent feature that you can use to... To, to go live with certain stuff on your the app version, but I have not tested that out, so don't take my word for it. It might be possible or it might not be. I just don't know. And if you don't have a VR capable computer, do not custom build a computer right now because all the PC parts are extremely <laughs> are extremely uh, 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 pricey. And you may not believe this, but I'm currently running on a year and a half old gaming laptop. So at the moment. Laptops are honestly the better buy. My laptop's old. It's got a 1660 Ti in it, i7 9750H, but you probably don't have any idea what that means. It's just older components, yet you can do it. So it honestly doesn't matter on age as long as you can run VR above around 30 frames. Because once you go below that, you start noticing it. Because when you stream, on the flat screen, frame rate, it doesn't, it's not that noticeable. If you're lower than like 20, it's noticeable. But when you're in VR, anything below 40 is very noticeable. It, it just, as long as you're able to hit consistent frames around 30 or above 30, you'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, so, stuff for streaming in VR chat. What you're gonna need first, of course, is the camera. I've switched to first person view, as you can see. Uh, so, when you're in PC VR, where you can get the camera is right here. You click camera, stream camera, and photo camera and stream camera are basically the same thing, but photo camera is made for photos, so you'd actually accidentally take photos, and I believe it doesn't actually uh, cast to your screen. And you might be wondering, well, what do I need that for? Well, I'll get into that in this next section. You can do all sorts of effects, you know, you can do uh, green screen effects, and it looks a little blown out because of the, the effects in this world, but... It's, it's a really great little camera, and it hasn't been updated in a couple years, so it's probably due to happen eventually soon, but right now it's pretty great. It'll have all sorts of modes too. You can have smooth cam, so it has its own built-in gimbal, um, and then it's got a system that can also stand your face pretty great. You've also got movements, so you can keep it still. This this movement basically keeps it still. It won't it, it move independently from the, uh, the, the viewfinder, but it moves with you. And it's got another mode that doesn't move at all. So, it's it, it's got all sorts of things. I'm not going to go into detail about it really uh, in this video because I can go into real detail about it and uh, you can just discover it on your own. So in order to record or stream anything in VR chat, you need softwares such as OBS, uh, Streamlabs, which is just OBS but, but dressed up for streaming, and uh, just anything that can record your screen. Because the way this works is the stream camera broadcasts this, what you're seeing here, to the screen. It's really simple. It's just the window that you, if you play VR chat in desktop mode or any mode really, you probably know that VR chat opens up in a window. So instead of your first person view, it'll take this and put it onto the screen. I'll now show you what I use uh, to record slash stream VR chat. As you can see here, I use Streamlabs to uh, record slash stream my stuff. Um, and it's very simple. It really is. Uh, f first of all, just to record your regular screen, I recommend going and adding a source and using game capture as it only captures your game and it won't capture your mouse cursor unless you have it set to do so and it works pretty good you can use it for first person um recording but i generally only use it for for camera and just that sort of stuff like i make tiktoks and so i use this and it works flawlessly the next software i'm about to recommend to you is <laughs> very integral when it comes to streaming or, or recording any vr content in my opinion because it just does much better than the stock window. And that is open VR capture. You can, I, I'll link this in the bio. Uh, basically what it does, it directly takes the image coming out of your headset and records that. That's why you can see my dashboard. You see, if I used the regular desktop 
window, you wouldn't be able to see any of this. You'd just see my arms floating out there and, and just the game. This is what streamers use uh, most of the time. It's how you can see the chat and stuff like that. Like, you, I got, um, what is this? I got OVR Toolkit here. This is, <laughs> I'm gonna go into this next, but OVR Toolkit, you can see this. Uh, if I didn't, if I wasn't using OpenVR Capture, you would not be able to see this. So it's a very great thing. And uh, one last thing, it, it actually lets you record a much wider FOV um, compared to the regular window recording. Um, and what that means is it just can see more compared to the regular window. Like if I was just using the window, because I have a Pimax headset, it would be incredibly, squished and, and pixelated and it just would not look good so this is god it's, it's doing god's work and it's very a very great software and i'm not going to show you how to set it up but i will link you a little video um and how to do it uh, in the bio so just, just go check that out when you when you really want to Alright, next, I'm sure most of you clicked on this video to figure out how to, to show your chat in VR, uh, which I might actually do its own video for, but I'll do a real quick uh, overview here. Uh, you don't need to use the software as it is paid, and there's some stuff that you can get for free, but I use it because it's flawless and, and works seamlessly. Um, there's a software called OVR Toolkit you can get on Steam for about 10 bucks. Uh, last I bought it, and uh, it does all sorts of stuff. As you can see here, it tells you your controller battery. Uh, it would tell me my tracker batteries, but uh, I, I don't have it set up right now. It tells you your, your frame rate, your GPU, how much VRAM you're using. It, it tells you all sorts of stuff. You can switch your Spotify playlists. Tells you how long you've been in VR. I mean, you don't really care about any of this stuff. What you really want to know is how to get chat in VR. So there's a bunch of add-ons you can download for VR, open VR. I downloaded a bunch of random ones, but the main one that people use is the Twitch add-on. And you basically log in directly to your, your Twitch account, and uh, it lets you view the chat in your hand. <laughs> Wait, ignore this. <laughs> this. This avatar is still a work in progress. I'm trying to figure out why this is happening. So you can open chat. I already have, I'm already logged on. So I open chat. Never mind. I'm not logged on. I'm, I'm, Another cool thing about OpenVR, look at this. You got a keyboard here, animated RGB, isn't that cool? All right, I logged in, you can move things around. Um, I'll do my own video, I'll do a separate video for this software. It literally puts like a chat window on your arm and you can configure the things. I have it set so that it disappears if you look away or I would if I had it, had used it recently. It's a really great software. You can get a free version, um, but it doesn't work as well and isn't as, as seamless. Um, but it, it works pretty great, I gotta say. It keeps up to date, it doesn't lag at all, it's very wonderful. So, if you're gonna do anything, get OVR Toolkit, you'll use it all the time. I, this is the, I've used this software almost as much as, I, as I've used Steam VR, and that should tell you something. Right, I'm assuming that most of you that clicked on this video already know how to stream in general, but if you don't, I will show you. Go to streamlabs.com. I'm pretty sure that's the website. You can you log into your Twitch uh, through this. You go to settings. You can log in. I'm logged in. It directly connects to your, your account. Uh, once you click go live, it gives you a thing, and you can put in your title and everything. And it, it's 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 really simple. It's just like streaming flat uh, screen games, and that's what a lot of people don't understand. They don't know that it's that simple, but it is. Um, it does require you know your computer does require a bit more so like horsepower uh, compared to like you know regular streaming and flat screen games, but it, it's really, really seamless. And all the softwares I just spoke about actually works in any game. OVR works in any game. Only thing that doesn't work in any game is this camera, as it, it it's built into VR chat. So if you want to stream other games, I really, really recommend OVR Toolkit and, and uh, OVR Capture. And of course, I will put actually I'll put the link to both of them in in the in the in the description. It's generally a lot harder to stream without them. Oops, that's honestly it. I'll do a separate video for other things such as like recording in VR chat and what the best settings are and all sorts of stuff like that. I'm sorry if this video is kind of just all, all over the place. There's so much you can do with this this software, and I just can't praise them enough. If you want to see more how-to videos. Let me know. I'll make them. You know, I'll, I post big videos and co you know, comedic videos every week. I'll post these every couple days. So I guess they'll gradually get better in quality as I just don't do these that often. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know by subscribing. See you later, stinky.